age or something. Jean says, I'm 82. Well, I think we was in Cracker Barrel just a few days ago. And a lady right there, she says, you're not 82. <laughs> Jean says, yeah, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, that woman, she's just, no, you're not 82. Jean said, yeah, I'm 82. Well, praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. She, Jean said something the other day. She said, I just wish, I just wish that I could feel as good as I did when I was young. <laughs> she said, I don't mind being old. <laughs> but now it's the aches and the pains. She's back there laughing at me. Live your life for Jesus while you can because there's an angel that's been assigned to you from your conception in your mama's womb. And that angel's been with you all your life recording everything. Now, of course, God, when we commit our life to Christ, much of, a whole bunch of just went, and it's gone. Because it's washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ, see? When that's a heart commitment to Christ. It don't happen if you just, we was talking in men's class this morning about Titus 1.16. Write it down. Titus 1.16, what does it say? What does Titus 1.16 say? Somebody tell me. Can anybody tell me what, what right off the top of your head what Titus 1.16, if you found 1st and 2nd Timothy, you know that Titus is right behind it. And Paul is talking about people, 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 people. Verse 16, they profess that they know God. Did you write it down? What did I tell you to write down? What scripture? Titus 1.16. I want you to read that later today and tomorrow and the next day. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. See, God calls every single one of us to be fruit producers. Yes. The fruits of righteousness. And the Father is the husbandman. Jesus is the vine. We're the branches. And he says, every branch in me that bears fruit, he will trim it, he will prune it, so it can produce even more. He said, but if you're not producing the fruits of righteousness, he says, and as men, as the branches are cut off of a vine that do not produce, and as men cast them into a pile and then they are burned, so shall these. What's your fruits of righteousness? What is it that your God is working in you, working Jesus in you to produce righteousness? Titus 1.16 says, They profess that they know God. But by their works, they actually deny Him. So that person has, is caught up in the pride of life. They have lied to their own self and deceived their own self. You're either a disciple of Christ or you're not. There's no such thing as just being a quote-unquote Christian. Y'all copy? 1024? 10, 10, 10, whatever it is, anyway. Paste it. Paste it, yeah, okay. What? Our children, children's church, people your children are being called, just got through doing exactly what you've been preaching. We had tri court trial in there. Court God, trial? God was the judge, and Sharon was the, was the, um, was Jesus, and... Who was the prosecuting attorney? Who was the devil? Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, no, no. They were prosecuting for put a in jail with a lot of them. But she had a and she had stole something. Oh dear. So the devil was trying to convince her again that she should go to hell with him. But Jesus was on the right hand of God and she was convincing God that, you know, that she was innocent, that she had been forgiven. Yes. But you'd be surprised. Last week, Donna had your service in there and didn't know it. The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. She talked the same message we preached up here. 
and so did Carolyn. Yes. I mean, you, you think that it's not a, a fun thing to go in there with them, or you can't do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. The teachers are teaching the Holy Spirit. They don't have uh, things to do by. They're just really painting their own. Yes, That's by the Holy the Spirit. Spirit. Yes. Right. Amen. And it's, I, I, I just got this last half of your sermon. I've been listening to some of it in the children's church, but it amazed me what you were preaching and what was. You saying theirs is better than mine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you didn't have to tell us. You didn't have to tell us. Amen. Amen. But I, I can't believe how the Holy Spirit is working right now. Between these two, you think your children are not being taught? People are being taught. They are being taught. Yes, they are. Amen. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Praise God. Are you here this morning? You desire the laying on of hands, a prayer of faith, or recommitment to Christ?